Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2018 on an 18 plate Ford Transit Custom. Uh, so this is the L1 Short Wheelbase Limited. So limited being the most desirable spec that everybody wants. Uh, it is a 2 litre TDCI 130 brake horsepower Euro 6 engine with a 6 speed gearbox as well. Um, one keeper from new, uh, direct off the company that's had it on lease. Uh, great specification and uh, obviously um, very handy with your Rhino rack and pipe tube on the roof as well. Um, so uh, nicely kitted out in the back as well with a bit of ply racking etc. Uh, and with additional security locking on your sliding and your rear doors as well. Uh, it does come with two remote control keys and two lots of keys for your security locking. Uh, and it has covered 62,000 miles uh, in what I would say is great all-round condition for a black van. Um, so let's give you an idea of what it is that you're going to buy. Looking up there on the roof, obviously as you can see quite a substantial Rhino roof rack on it. There are actually quite a few quid those on. Coming down onto your windscreen. Windscreen is good with no uh, there are a couple of stone chips on the windscreen. I don't think there's anything there that's going to cause you any grief when it comes to MOT time, but there are a couple of minor stone chips on the windscreen. Down onto the bonnet. Bonnet is overall in good condition. It has had stone chips on it. They have been touched in. Um, they are slightly visible to the eye. You might be able to see them on the video now as we speak. Um, but just gives you an idea, obviously, black van, 62,000 miles and three years old, it's gonna have some marks on the bonnet. Nothing there that's major, but there are stone chip marks on the vehicle. Passenger headlamp unit's all good. Coming down onto the passenger front bumper corner, uh, no major scuffing, so to speak. There are signs, obviously, wear and tear due to the age and the miles of the vehicle, so minor stone chipping again, but nothing major. If we do a quick walk away, you can see nothing major that is standing out. Front grille's all good. Driver's headlamp unit's all in good order. Again, driver's front bumper corner, nothing major from a distance. Get up close, yes, the signs of wear and tear, but nothing you're going to particularly worry too much about, if I'm honest with you. As you've probably noticed, you have front fog lights on this vehicle, front and rear parking sensors fitted to it as well. Passenger side front wing. Again, nothing too much to point out to you from a, from a cosmetic point of view. Minor stone chips, but nothing major. Passenger front alloy wheels in good condition with an Avon tyre. Uh, tyre itself, I believe it's probably about midway through the wear range, but looks to have plenty of tyre tread depth on there for you. Exact tyre tread depths are covered by our PDI check, so we will uh, confirm those for you as part of the 110 point PDI check that it has. Uh, passenger wing mirror cover, minor hedge rash on it, but nothing major. Indicators in good condition. And your upper and lower mirrors are all good as well. Passenger door glass is all good. Passenger door itself, all good. Sliding door, passenger side, lower part all good, upper part all good. Obviously you do have your additional security lock here. Uh, looking behind your door handles, not in too bad condition. Obviously some of them can scratch up quite badly with people's nails, but that's all pretty good. Uh, passenger rear quarter upper part is all good. And again, with the lower part as well. Nothing to point out to you there. Your sliding door rail is in good working order as well. And then again, passenger rear alloy wheel. The alloy wheel itself is in good condition. Tyre's got plenty of tyre tread depth on this. Slight wear on your side wall of your tyre, but nothing that's uh, too much to worry about. It's just from rubbing up against curbs. And your tyre itself has plenty of tyre tread depth. So you also have front and rear mud flaps going down the vehicle as well. And hopefully, if we work from this angle here, you can see but there are no major dents or dings to point out to you. It is a very straight, tidy van. Passenger side rear bumper corner is in good condition. The rear light unit itself, 
all good. And then coming round to the working end of the vehicle, obviously the rear end of the vehicle, it has uh, rear barn doors. Barn doors themselves are in good condition. Uh, no major marks to point out to you. Uh, the bumper, obviously reverse parking sensors as we've already stated. Bumper, a couple of minor marks, but again, nothing that you wouldn't expect for the age of the vehicle. Um, in fact, I'd say these vans for, for black vans are in pretty good condition and unfortunately have a really good finish to the paintwork that makes it look like a mirror. Ooh, God, who's that carrying the camera? But there we go. Opening up your rear doors, handle this side, open up the rear doors. And this is where they're really handy, I think. Um, so let's have a look at the cosmetics point of view, first of all. So looking at your rear doors, inside, door cards, etc are tidy, a few minor marks, but nothing major. And again, this side, all good, with no major marks, bit of ply lining on the rear of the doors. Uh, looking inside, even your entry point paint, uh, paintwork on the back end of the van is good. And then we have this um, ply racking system inside, which is actually really quite handy. Obviously you may want to adjust a little bit of it yourself, but all good. It's been built very professionally. So they've been run by a fire and security company. So condition wise, all good. Still allows you to pop a ladder under there and utilize your uh, bulkhead opener there, which gives you additional load length underneath your passenger front seat. Um, but yeah, they've been engineer vans, so not had too much of a hard life I have to say and again on your back doors we have additional security locking on the back end of the vehicle as well now driver side rear light units are all in good condition and if we look down the driver side of the vehicle now again no major dents or dings to point out to you tidy little van we have just machine polished them so they've got a really nice gleam to the paintwork driver side rear bumper corners are good obviously again this side you can see you've got driver side rear mud flaps and driver side front mud flaps driver side rear alloy wheel good condition plenty of tire tread depth on there and loads of tire tread depth down there and then driver side quarter Again, really nice condition. Nothing too much to point out to you here. Driver's side front door, good condition. And driver's side front glass is in good condition. Mirror unit, driver's side, upper and lower is in good condition. And then driver's side front wing, again, nice genuine condition. Uh, driver's side alloy wheel. No marks on there, another Avon tyre on the front and plenty of tyre tread depth going on there as well. So, let's move to the interior. Opening the van, as you can hear the door catch strap, slightly clicking on it at the moment. That's something we will get done as part of the PDI process and so we'll get that replaced on it for you. Your driver's door card, electric folding mirrors, electric windows, central locking operated through this button here. The inside of your door cards, the pockets, etc., are nice and clean. It gives you just a stand back view, you can see no abuse on that door card. Getting into the van, the sill and the plastic steps are in good condition. The other nice thing about this van is that the company does always put rubber mats into their van, which means they think about this. Uh, just stops the rest of the floor getting um, abused and as you can see genuine Ford Transit rubber mats uh, rubber pedals pedal rubbers I should say are in good condition cup holders etc one there and one down there are all good you have automatic lights here uh, and then on the left hand side front fog lights and rear fog lights and on the right hand side your dashboard illumination uh, in the middle here press this button and it does your headlamp levels parking sensors you can turn them on and off using this button here and with the limited you get a nice thick chunky 
steering wheel multifunction which gives you your volume controls and search controls on your stereo here you can answer your telephone off this button as well and it does have some voice activation on here as well this button on this side runs you through your computer system on the dashboard uh, it's not on at the moment let's see if i can find some keys 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 would be good pop them in my pocket what have i done with the keys so keys we have one set of keys there we've got another set of keys inside so we do have both the remote control keys and in order to fire these vans up you do need to have your foot on the clutch put your foot on the clutch turn it over on she fires happy days there you go so uh, the only lights we've got on the dash are telling us we're low on fuel a handbrake is on and i have no seat belt on at the moment um, but as I say, um, this side is, this button on this side operates your computer system on here and it will just run you through your uh, onboard computer system on there as well. Um, so here we have speed limiter and cruise control, uh, sorry, cruise control with speed limiter. Um, indicators are on this stalk and wipers are on the right hand stalk over here. Uh, heated quick clear front windscreen all these transit customs come with up here if we open this up we have an additional storage with a 12 volt power and usb power at the back there as well stereos are dab stereo radios uh, turn that down obviously you can hear it works um, so dab stereo radio you have bluetooth phone and bluetooth music with it this is a phone holder here six speed manual gearbox and your all important air conditioning down here as well. Seats, we have heated seats on the driver's side. Oh, in actual fact, I hadn't noticed that before. So we also have 12 volt power down here. There we go. Um, inside the vans are clean and tidy on top of the dashboards. There's no marks of work boots or any signs of abuse from that point of view. And in fact, the company that runs these vans do have them valeted on a regular basis. Um, so the vans throughout their life are kept nice and clean. If we open up the door this side, passenger door card, again, clean and tidy with no signs of abuse. Passenger entry step and plastics are good. Ooh, nice tag, move that out of the way. And then floor in this side, as you can see, rubber mats good order dashboard and the seating here as you can see are clean and tidy as well so there we go so oh, price tag back in so overall um, it is uh, I think one keeper from new uh, with warranted 62,000 miles really desirable limited specification in euro 6 so obviously you les and ellie's Z zone compliant uh full service history with them uh you've got your expensive rhino roof rack and pipe tube on the roof if you don't want that we can remove it for you it's not a major drama you put the plugs back in the roof so it doesn't leak afterwards as well um, but great spec vans um 70 odd photos will be on my website shortly my website is vanstoday.com we are vans today worcester based in the center of the country and you can contact me on 01905 672 080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com. Worried about who you're buying off? Check us out. We're on the internet. Um, reviews on obviously Google, uh, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, Instagram, etc. etc. And if you are a previous customer or a soon to be customer, please feel free to leave us a review. Thanks for looking at the video. If I can be of any more help, give me a shout.